That's keeping it real. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Claudia Coleman's Intellectual Discussion Radio Show, coming to you live from Hampshire College. It is currently 9.31 p.m. and I'm here with my friend Emily Ike coming all the way from New Jersey to talk to us about critical pedagogy. So, Emily, welcome. Hi, Claudia. What is critical education? Well, I think that critical education means involving students more in the process of their education rather than trying to just sort of give them this set of knowledge. Um, and I think it takes into account the student's own personal background and experiences and where they're coming from as a student and, you know, gives them the ability to teach everyone something as well as learn something from everyone. And it turns the classroom into more of a community of learners rather than having the focus be on the teacher as like the center of attention. In a classroom structure like that, how would they be able to cover all the important things that you need to learn when you're young and going through the educational system? Um, I think that by having that attitude and pressure on students and teachers to learn a set amount of material it makes education more about rushing to fit everything in rather than actually having the kids understand it. By allowing the students to kind of take what they're learning and connect it to their own lives, then they're becoming a lot more engaged with it and excited about learning. You make a very interesting point. Emily, what does it mean to be a critical educator? Well, to me, being a critical educator means to give students the tools or allow them to find in themselves the tools that they need to educate themselves in the future and to be critical and aware of the society that they live in and to teach them to question knowledge and authority and be able to have their own voice and communicate that with others and learn from other people as well as be able to teach other people what they already know. So in your own experience, were you educated in this kind of way or did you experience something totally different and, and not gain enough from that experience which led you to um, the idea of, of critical education? Um, I think that a lot of my interest in this kind of education is because in my own experiences um, I was able to get through most of middle school and high school by memorizing things and then immediately forgetting them so I don't know any math past like seventh grade because I was obviously didn't need to actually learn it. I think a lot of other kids have had this experience too which says enough about how ineffective the traditional education system can be. <laughs> it's great to have you here tonight um, and we are sending the word out to all those teachers out there and all those kids in school to change their systems and to become more involved in your education. Well thank you Emily, that's enough for tonight. Over and out. Over and out Claudia. <laughs> <laughs>